Bourguignon and Luc Bradet, and then uh, the Czech Republic. And the, the final ice, pairing in La Bola and Berenkova. But here they are, Marie-Claude Savard-Gagnon and Luc Bradet. Well said. From Marie Canada. A little military outfit. Which is fitting because uh, the music is Concerto Militaire by Offenbach. in commentary position for Canadian television, unable to coach them here at the actual event. Interesting entry to the death spiral. Once again, done in the middle of the rink. And the required footwork, the step sequence. Great story, Marie-Claude Savagagnon and Luc Bradet coming from the farming community of Bayer St. Paul in Quebec. Lived together as kids, skated together, then separated, got back together, had no money. Farming community got behind them, they raised the money, and here they are at Olympic Games. All well, in a nutshell. Well, I think you've got all of that done very, very well. <laughs> what did you think of their performance, Belinda? I actually don't think that the choreography was really up to the music and I think that that's a difficult piece of music to skate to. Unfortunately, she didn't get all the way through that triple toe, but here we'll have a look at the hand-to-hand -hand loop entry of the lift. That's a difficult position because the girl is spinning around her own axis. And there's that little death-defying finish just to top it all off. They were Canadian champions in uh, 1997 until yep. Christy and Chris managed to do what they'd always wanted to do. This was an interesting entry into the death spiral. The death spiral itself only just made the required one rev before it was coming through. It'll be interesting to see again. This is another pair that I'd compare bye with bye. Uh, Stephen and Danielle. Marianne Stong, you see there, was actually Paul Martini's coach. And Marie Claude has always wanted to be in the circus. In fact, last summer took up trapeze lessons. Well, we'll wait and see if she's glad she didn't. I think anybody who reaches an Olympic Games is always pleased yeah. that they've made it there. Well, you're seeing the best here tonight. This is the top 20 pairs in the world. Yeah, I think there's no question about that. This is a very high-skilled technical sport. 
that's made to look so, so easy. She's 25 years of age and uh, Luke is 28. And we have just one pair remaining. About to come out onto the ice, that being from the Czech Republic. It's been a fantastic event and I think it really augurs well for the free program mm. that whoever wants this I gold medal badly enough is really going to have to skate to it and Gee, it's going to be fine. hard to go past R2, Dmitriev and Oksana uh, Kazakova because they really threw down the gauntlet tonight. The challenge was just right there. Just took on board that pressure and went for it. And, uh, but there weren't too many, though, that didn't make some form of mistake. No, well, that's what often happens in, fact, in they're the They're probably program. the only ones. Yes. Oh, Wurzel and Steuer. Abbott Boll and Bernadice, yeah. they didn't make a mistake. And uh, neither did uh, Kyoko and Jason from uh, United States who are sitting in fourth place. So uh, really it's only Berezna and Siki Olitsa in, in, the, in the top group there that have that made a mistake in the short program. Here's their scores and it's going to leave them in 12th place. Required elements for seven... Four, nine, well, they're interesting four, marks, seven, those. Four, two, the range of 4-2 four, four, to 5-0. Four, four, and and four, uh, I think you could probably have an argument either way about that one. Presentation. Well, for presentation. Four, nine, five, one, now, those presentation five, marks zero, are really comparable four, to Stephen eight, and Danielle, five, so two, that'll be very interesting five, one, in the free program four, to nine, see who five, can hang zero, on to that four and, and a half four, minutes eight. and do Thank the most you. amount of work.